and welcome to my shower! <laughs> I figured that it would be really fun to do a what's in my shower video because I saw L All That Glitters 21 do a what's in my shower video a while back and I loved watching that video so I decided to show you guys around my shower. So I guess I am just going to start off here with my little caddy full of products. So up here at the top, I have my Be Fine Exfoliating Cleanser, which I showed in my skincare routine. This is great to use in the shower and very exfoliating. And then I have my Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser, which is great to use with um, a Clarisonic when I use my Clarisonic in the shower. Um, this is good for breakouts and preventing them. And then I have my Skin to Mitt uh, Shave Gel. This is for sensitive skin. Uh, nothing much to say about that. It's just Shave Gel and it works well. Oh, that rhymed! <laughs> then I have my Philosophy Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. So I use this when I want something gentle and I also use this with my Clarisonic to remove makeup on my face. And then here I have my Lush Rose Argan Body Conditioner. This is actually a new product to Lush and I've used it a couple times and it's very, very hydrating. It has argan oil in it, but I would recommend using this at night because if you use this during the day, this stuff is going to get on your clothing because it kind of leaves, um, I don't want to say an oily residue on your skin, but you can definitely feel it on your skin, so you want to sleep with it on so it absorbs into your skin. I would not use this during the day. Definitely use this at night. And then right here is the shampoo that I have been using, or one of the shampoos I've been using recently. This is Lush's I Love Juice, Juicy, Juicy Shampoo. And this has, let's see, kiwi, papaya, and pineapple in it. And this is for very oily hair, which I have, and this is great because I wash my hair two to three times a week, and this helps my hair last longer between washes. So it's very, very clarifying, and it smells really good. It's very fruity smelling. So I highly recommend this if you have oily, greasy hair because this will help a lot without stripping your hair too much. So, then here I have my Lush Retread Conditioner, and this has soya milk and fresh melon in it, and I, ooh, there's a piece of hair on that, gross. Um, I use this uh, conditioner when I feel like I need a little bit more moisture in my hair. I like using this with the I Love Juicy condi shampoo because the I Love Juicy can be a little bit um, drying sometimes. So I make sure to follow up with a good conditioner and this smells really good. It smells like melon. And then over here, the next thing I have is my Lush Body Butter. This is the Aqua Mirabilis Body Butter. These body butters from Lush are amazing if you want a good deep down exfoliation. This smells really good too. It's kind of like a sweet, sweet, spicy, natural scent. I'm not good at describing scents, so I, don't listen to me. But um, I have it in this little tin from Lush to prevent it from melting, but these are so amazing because they're very exfoliating, but they help hydrate your skin at the same time. And then over here, I have a little tiny sliver of my Lush Snow Cake Soap. I have a lot of this soap because I love it so much. It smells just like almonds, and I keep it right here, so I just cut off little chunks at a time. And then here I have my Aveeno Moisturizing Bar. So this is great for when your skin just feels dull and tired and really dry. This is great for moisturizing and just kind of rejuven rejuvenating your skin. It's very gentle as well. And then here I have my Flying Fox Shower Gel, which smells very fresh. And it's actually a really popular scent with guys. So if you're looking for a good shower gel for guys from Lush, there you go. It's just a little baby size. And then I have my razor here. This is a um, Venus razor, Venus embrace, <laughs> and then <laughs> I have 
a little loofah here. So my loofah is used with these two products. This product I am currently loving a lot right now. It is the Soap and Glory Clean On Me Creamy Clarifying Shower Gel. And this smells so good. If you use the Soap and Glory hand food, this smells exactly like the hand food. And it smells amazing. And when you put it on a loofah, it lathers up really well and you just, oh, I love the smell. It smells exactly like Coco Mademoiselle perfume, which is one of my favorites. And then I also have this Philosophy um, it says shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath, but I would not recommend using this as a shampoo. I use it as a shower gel, and this is creme brulee, so it just smells nice and sweet, and I like it. Fleur actually made me get that. She kind of like bought that vicariously through me because <laughs> she really wanted it, but she didn't have room in her suitcase for it because it was really heavy. So then down over here, I have my Lush almond and coconut smoothie. This is amazing. It's very, very hydrating. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. None of these products are really that interesting to look at because they're all just kind of like white products. But this actually doesn't smell like coconut to me. It smells more like vanilla or almond. I really don't smell that much coconut in it, but it's really good to use. Um, after you've exfoliated just for a good moisturizing body wash. And then here I have my Ocean Salt, which I also use as an exfoliator. I use this on my body, not my face, but you can use this on your face. And I will show you guys what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. And I use this before I shave. So I exfoliate and then shave and then I'll follow up with a moisturizing body wash. So I'll either exfoliate with my body butter up here or the Ocean Salt. I would say that Ocean Salt is definitely a little bit more abrasive. It has bigger chunks of salt in it whereas the body butter is a little bit more gentle and it has finer particles in it. And then down here, this might be a little bit too much information for some people, but I'm just going to show it anyways because I use it. It's called Summer's Eve, and this is a feminine body wash. So this is for washing your private part down south. And I just like using this um, like during that time of the month when you just feel like gross. This is very, very gentle and it doesn't irritate you and it doesn't ruin your pH balance down there or anything. So this is really great. And I've also heard that this is great to use as a gentle face wash like Cetaphil. Um, I've never tried it on my face, but I've heard that you can use it on your face and it doesn't have like an irritating fragrance or anything like that. So if you're looking for something for down there, I recommend this. Um, but I don't know if I would use this on like a daily basis. I just kind of use it when I want to feel extra fresh. So now you know. <laughs> and last but not least over here, I have another shampoo and conditioner from Lush. This is the Lush Big Shampoo, which is absolutely amazing. I'll open it up so you guys can see. As you can see, it has sea salt in it, so it's very clarifying and volumizing. So this is great for my hair because I have very fine hair that tends to go limp. So this is great and it smells really good too. And then when I want more of an everyday conditioner, something that isn't as heavy as Retread, I use Lush's American Cream Conditioner. And this has honey water and fresh fresh strawberries and oranges and I believe vanilla in it too. And this smells really good, although it does not smell like vanilla or strawberries and cream like a lot of people had said in the reviews. It still smells good, but I definitely would not say that it smells like uh, vanilla at all. I would say that it leans more on the fresh and fruity side and the scent stays in your hair all day long. So I really, really like both of these products. I've been loving Lush hair products and I've basically just switched out all of my hair products that I was previously using because they were all 
um, kind of working together to cause a rash on my body when I would use them. So I decided that maybe I should try things that were a little bit more natural and I've been loving the Lush products recently. So I highly, highly recommend their hair products if you haven't tried them yet. They have hair products for all different hair types and these are just the ones that I've been loving. So that is pretty much everything in my shower. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was actually really fun to do. Um, I like watching these videos because I like seeing what other people have in their showers and bathrooms. So feel free to post a video response to this. I would love to see what's in your shower or bathroom. And I guess I will see you guys later. Bye! Oh my gosh, I just I just stopped recording mm -hmm. and it started recording. So I don't think I actually got that. <laughs> You're just trying to record my face drop. Because <laughs> I believe you every single time and I believed you for a second there. <laughs> Welcome to my shower. <laughs> Too close. What do you have right there? It's like rubbery stuff. I think like when they were sealing. <gasps> oh. oh. Get right in on that. Okay. <laughs> <I'm ready. laughs>